So this is part two of my giant vintage thrift haul. I'm just gonna jump right in. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below and you should go watch that one first and then watch this one. Or you could do this one and then watch the other one. I don't know. I don't control you. You could do whatever you want. I'm going to continue with tops. I found this lingerie top by the brand Nan Flower. It's always the tags that get me. And it also has like garters. I've been finding a lot of these running tank tops, but I found this vintage Nike one. I believe this is from the 80s based off of the tag. And it just says Oregon on it with like a tree. I found this Running Rebels one. It's by the brand Cobblestones, made in the USA. It's very lightweight and sheer. It'd be really nice for summertime. And then the last one I found is just this SG one. I don't know what SG stands for. I'm assuming it's for a school. So, you know, using my brain. This last top I have is actually a vest. It's very old and it has some holes in it. It's kind of a little beat up, but you know, I love it mainly because the tag on the inside is by the brand Western Costume Co. Hollywood. It actually was a vest for Barry Nelson. And if you don't know who Barry Nelson is, he's just like an old time actor. We're gonna move on to pants now. I think I'm gonna start with shorts and skirts. So I found this pair of 501 Levi shorts in white and just thought they were very nice. So I got them. They don't fit me perfectly. They fit me in the hips, but they don't fit me in the waist area. And that always happens to me. I found another pair of shorts. They're way too big for me, but I just liked how they had no pockets on the butt. And I love the detailing on the sides. They kind of reminded me of Rocky's pants. It's by the brand Lawman Western. This is another one of those free items I got at the Rose Bowl. I think it's for like, it used to be for a waitress or maybe a maid. I think it's like a waitress at like a restaurant or something. It was like a uniform it's by the brand Graybo Originals of California. Another skirt I found at that estate sale where everybody was going crazy was just this cheerleader one. And on the inside, it used to be owned by Susie. Susie. The zipper is broken on it and I thought I could maybe fix it, but I'm gonna just have to replace the whole entire zipper because it's missing some teeth. So that's gonna be a fun project. I found this like plaid. I don't think this is called plaid. Maybe, maybe it's plaid. Plaid skirt by the brand Haymaker, made in the USA. And I just thought it was really cute. And I love the little tie. I believe it's from like maybe the early 60s. And I loved how this skirt had freaking shorts built in it. It's like, there's shorts in there. I love this skirt. It's just this wool vintage skirt by John Mayer of Norwick. I believe it's from like the 50s. I found another wool skirt by the brand Pendleton and this is plaid and I just loved the color of this. It even has pockets in it. Oh my gosh. I love when things have pockets in it. Another skirt I got at that estate sale where again everybody was going crazy. I love the details. I think it's probably from like the 50s. I would say 50s based off of how it, it hits you on your body. I'm gonna move on to pants now. I went to a thrift store a few weeks ago, obviously. At this one thrift store, I found a pair of 70s trousers. Not only did I find one pair, I found three. The first pair I found were these his for her trousers. The next pair I really like because they have like this little belt that came with it and it's by the brand College Town. So the one pair that doesn't fit me, but they would if the elastic didn't like die in it. But I'm thinking of fixing this elastic. It's by the brand Angels Flight. Add more pants. So the first pair I found are these 550 Levi Strauss orange tab jeans. They're made in the USA. Next pair of jeans I found are these vintage Calvin Klein pair, but I believe these are from like the 70s. They're like straight leg pants. Next pair of jeans that I found are these vintage Jordache jeans that are pink and they have these really pretty like heart buckle details on the back and they like snap and I was so excited about them and they don't fit me so I don't have a try on portion of this because I tried squeezing in them didn't work out so I don't want to rip them then I found these really cool vintage Sassoon and they're very lightweight so they'll be perfect for summertime even though we're moving to fall and it's gonna start getting colder they'll still be perfect for summertime now I'm excited about these because these are vintage LL Bean 
pants and I believe they're from the 70s because they kind of have a wide leg flare to them. Unfortunately, someone chopped off the bottom and made them shorter. You gave them away now and they're too short for me so I have to go back and fix them and make them a little bit longer. I have two more pairs of jeans and they're both Wranglers. I'm excited because I haven't found a pair of Wranglers in like forever. The first pair are these really cool like teal vintage Wranglers. I thought the color was really nice. And the next pair is just like that nice dark wash vintage Wrangler. So that's it for all the pants. Now I'm going to move on to dresses. I found two pairs of vintage 90s overalls from the brand Revolt Clothing Co. What's going on here? Let me fix you. There we go. Happy camper now. I also found this black pair. I actually wore these already and I just love the front it has this cute little zipper. Next I found two vintage gold label Victoria's Secret 90s. Then the second vintage Victoria's Secret 90 that I found was this one. It's made out of silk and it's very soft. Then I found this 90s dress that has like that wrap skirt. I think in one of my other hauls I showed like the same exact style dress but in a black polka dot pattern. I found this really cute 60s mini dress. I think someone handmade this based off of the stitching and stuff and there's no tag on the inside. The last two items that I got for free from the Rose Bowl in that box I was talking about. The first one is this really cute like overall looking dress and I loved the pattern of this. It's like a really sweet kind of floral. Only problem is this is a small, but the elastic again became dead, so I'm gonna have to fix that. This is the last item that I got for free in that box from the Rose Bowl, and it's this Jill Stewart 60s mini dress. I had this hanging up in my closet, and I completely forgot to show it as well because this was one of the items I got at the estate sale. I was just so excited about it, I just hung it in my closet because I'm like, I'm gonna wear it. It's this 70s halter top dress, and it's by the brand Apple Pie. I have three more dresses. I found this 50s plaid dress by the brand Candy Jones, California. I feel like a little schoolgirl when I wear this. And then the last two dresses I have are both from the 70s, like this purple one. I love like the little frills at the top and like this is sheer and it goes around your neck. Now this last dress, I should be at like a gala or makes me feel like Audrey Hepburn or something because it has a freaking cape. Who doesn't want a dress that has a cape? Now we're going to move on to shoes and accessories. I honestly don't have that many shoes that I found. And accessories, I just found one item. It's the last item I got at that crazy estate sale. And it's the main reason why I went to that estate sale. But it's this vintage Roy Rogers trigger hat. It's a kid's hat. It doesn't fit me perfectly. The last couple items I have are shoes. I just found this vintage 70s pair of wedges that are in like that kind of like Hirachi style and they're leather. I'm honestly not a huge fan of wedges, just they're just not my favorite kind of shoe, but I thought those ones were really cute. <laughs> now I found these Mary Jane shoes. I think they're by the brand Bijou Shoes, B-I-J-O-U exclamation mark shoes. Now I just about died when I found this pair of shoes. They're like these western faux suede. And then the last pair of shoes are by the brand Performer. They kind of remind me of Justin's or Loretto's or Ariat boots. I really like them. They're super comfy. I would say they're the comfiest, but they're not as well made as the other boots. But they kind of remind me of like hiking boots. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little, little haul. <laughs> Jokes. So that is everything that I got in the past couple of months. I hope you guys enjoyed the items that I had in this thrift haul. I hope it inspired you to go thrifting and find some vintage pieces because those are always my favorite to find. And I only like shopping at thrift stores. I don't like shopping anywhere else. It's not fun. Let me know which article of clothing you guys liked and I'll see you guys later. Bye.